Yo, Nick, do you think Dylan Brooks is good or he ain't shit? I didn't ask you if, if Memphis need. I know he's a good fit on Memphis. If, <laughs> if you went to Parker, you picking him? Oh no, no, no! I'm not picking him on my, you know, like on my drill team. And well, I might, cause you need somebody that's gonna play dirty. And yeah, if you if you trying to go nut, you trying to go nut, you pick. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. Crazy. Wow. That's okay. crazy. I'm going to let it go because we're doing the interview. Where my dogs at? Where my soldiers at war? Where your balls at? Whoa. Got to pause that. Whoa. We got some new information on him. After the Grizzlies beat the Lakers in game two, Brooks was asked about LeBron. He stopped the LeBron talk and said, quote, I don't care. He's old. He also said, I poke bears. I don't respect anyone until they he come. He poked bears. He said, hey, he said he pokes that's bears. That's crazy. He that, said, that's bestiality. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know nothing about it. He Animal got that. activist. So- <laughs> <laughs> He did say I poke bears. I don't know why that was the first thought that came to his mind, but he said it. Then he said, I don't respect anyone until they come and give me 40. I just think Dylan Brooks (laughs) is annoying. I think he does this purposely. I think that he sees that he's annoying people. Because I don't give a fuck about the nigga, to be honest with you. <laughs> but but um, oh, but seriously, as far as Dylan Brooks is concerned, <laughs> he's annoying. I don't know, you know, exactly what his specialty is, but what I will say is that he's needed. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the player that, that comes to mind when I think of him. Was it Chris Livingston on the Bulls that just Foul everybody and Bill Lambeer. Bill, Bill Lambeer, Lambeer, definitely. You Bill. know, just want to fight. I can't give him Bill Lambeer. You, know, <laughs> you, know, you yeah. can't give him you Bill You ain't going to even give him Bill Lambeer. Come Lambeer. on, Bill Lambeer. Bill, Bill, <laughs> Bill Lambeer, Bill Pours in that form. You better be careful because he might sick his son on you. Yeah. In a couple years, he might put his son on, mm-hmm. your, on your head top. Pause. The Memphis Grizzlies informed him that he will not be brought back under any circumstances. I think Cam jinxed him. You are a good, very good role player. Role players don't talk to superstars out of line. <laughs> you, don't, you don't do that. You're a role player talking to not only a superstar, yeah. the biggest star that yeah. he had in the last 20 years. You don't, yo, he's old. And if he don't give me 49, I poke bears, pause. Hey, yo, homie, 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 you did this shit to yourself. Yeah. What team you think should take him? That's what I was going to ask, yeah. The team that they'll take There's a lot of teams that'll well, pick him up. Name, give me your top two teams he'll be good at. <sighs> Where he'll fit at, pause. Um, yeah. I was going to ask, would you rather see him on a more rookie team like Orlando Magic with Paulo Bencaro, or would you rather see no. him on a more... With, no. with a vet, no? No. He need to be under some, some top-tier players where he can learn how to play on the championship level. Because if he go down there with that kind of mentality, you put him around a, lo- a young nucleus, then he could, he could probably be the bad apple in that group. I'm not disagreeing with that. I just don't know where the fuck you going. It's your fault. My nigga should have shut the fuck up. You poke bears, pause. Now you out of job currently. And then also on the other side, we got to talk about the Warriors versus Lakers. Is this a Warriors versus Lakers game or a LeBron versus Steph game? I, what I'd say is this, man. This is going to be a great series. Yeah. What LeBron is doing is super duper amazing, mm-hmm. especially for his age. Anthony Davis, you've been busting ass, pause, since yeah. I told you about yourself, so yeah. I'm proud of you. I think Anthony <laughs> Davis is healthy when they're throwing the ball through him. Mm-hmm. When they're playing through him, then he stays healthy. What you mean when he's the number one option? Yeah, you know, he's normally healthy when he's the number one option. I don't know where your logic is coming yeah, from. That... I have no idea where your logic is <laughs> I mean, is go from. back and look at his stats. <laughs> if we, if we probably was watching the game today, we would see that they're going through Anthony Davis and he's not hurt. It may come down to experience with coaching as well. Yeah. I don't know if Dolan Ham has the experience that Steve Kerr has. And it seemed that, that the Lakers play better when the ball is going through Davis's hands first. Hey, and he might yeah. have that old school mentality, you know, as long as I get the ball, I play defense. Anthony Davis? Yeah, like since the ball has been going through his hands, he hasn't been hurt. You said that like four times. I'm going to let it go. But um, 
You get what I'm saying? As much as much power as he had over me, don't get it fucked up. He had a when you say power over you, what do you mean? When I when I say that is speaking as a father, like, no, don't do that. Okay, got don't it. do this. Don't mm-hmm. do that. He could have, but yeah. he never did. He never tried to. He allowed me to be myself and do what I wanted to do. You get what I'm saying? So did he allow you to do good things or bad things? Both. All right. Both. You know okay. what I'm saying? And still to this day, till present day, like he's that person that never turned his back on me. You know what I mean? I had a lot of people that was riding me pause. You get what yeah. I'm saying? I played Carmelo my last game the night before. Mm-hmm. How much you gave him? I got it at an early age. Right. These kids, they got it after they became millionaires. Mm-hmm. I had this motherfucking arrogancy in me when I was 16, 17, 18 years old. Right. And Cam gave it to you. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you Cam. gave me a little bit too, you don't oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you another question. If you had mm-hmm. social media back then. Boy, I'd be a millionaire still right now. Would you? So you said social media would have been way more beneficial for you if it was for in many, 2000? When you can do NIL deals and all of that. No, no. So let's go before because NIL just kind of came. I was kind of new. Let's say you had Instagram mm-hmm. or Twitter or something like that when you was in 12th grade before the NIL. Just yeah. Instagram, Twitter and social media. Where do you think you would be coming out of high school if you had that those type of tools? I'd have had the most followers in the world. And why do you think that? Because I bust ass. Pause. Then you <laughs> <laughs> watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that was wild. You know what I'm saying? Lenny, that was crazy. I just had my fifth annual Lenny Cook Shoe Hoops Not Guns event in the Bronx and Bronx River Community Center. Um, yeah. I just, I just love doing motivational speaking with these kids. I love we training kids. We said you just kids. did something with Allen Iverson, too. Did, I was yeah. just coaching at the Allen Iverson All-American game with uh, Stephen Jackson. Um, they just honored me with the Purpose Award. Man, that shit touched me so much, Paul. Um, that was crazy. It's just... <laughs> he on point, though. You got to give him this credit. Nah, this, like, this is what That's I love crazy. to do, man, when it comes to these kids, bro. Like, I don't want these kids to have to go through what I went through and make the same mistakes that I made, bro, mm-hmm. at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Because it, it's a lot of mil- it's a lot of Lenny Cook stories, but people who scared to share their story. Right. You can't be sh- scared to share your story, bro, because you can. You never know who you know, who you can help, bro. Yeah. Whether you at the top or the bottom, pause. But like, wow, that was deep. That That's was what real he was deep. telling me. Oh, What's people. the craziest thing happened? We'll move past jail. The yeah. craziest shit in jail that happened while you were there. I tell you, tell you two stories. One would remind me about the coffee machine, and I'll tell you this one. Um, we had this brother in there. His name was Joe Johnson. He was like a heavyweight champion. He'd been in jail 25 years. Yeah. So they, you know, they like became my bodyguard, you know, his self acclaimed, you know, because, you know, when you go to right where you go to, they got the booty bandits. In this prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. Booty, a man's butt. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You know, and uh, they'd be like, hey, man. They come in and then they, Pause, they surround Jay. you and then the, Yo, Jay, and then Pause. one bug can Jay, come Jay, in. Jay, when you up here, when you say booty bandage, just say pause after so nobody <laughs> talk about you real quick. Because <laughs> the, the booty bandage, you gotta say pause after this. Okay. All right. All right. So you know you got <laughs> so you know you got the booty bandits. Yeah. Pause. You know what I'm saying? I once you asked me one of one one of the stories. One of the stories, Cam. So this big dude, you know, Joe Johnson. He was my bodyguard. Boy, you know, you know they big, and you know who just came out of jail. We know, right? right, right. So they got big, big up here. They got little legs, right? Mm-hmm. There ain't no legs machines there, right? They just doing chin ups, <laughs> right? If you see a white dude and he can play spades, you know he, you know damn well he been in jail, right? right? So you know, so this dude Joe Johnson always with me, six foot ten, muscles everywhere, standing behind me all the time, and and uh, so one day, you know, I'm telling stories that like we telling here. And then one day I said, told a story about him. I said, man, and then we call him Bojack, right? So I said, man, Bojack. And he's like, what's up, boss? I said, you remember when Paisan was cutting your hair and he was on that heroin and he fell asleep and, and, and he messed your hair up? And everybody started laughing, but ain't nobody ever laughed at him. You know, he'd been in there 27 years. Right. Right? So he said, hey, boss, can I talk to you? I said, yeah. He said, let's go in the bathroom. I said, yeah, let's go in the bathroom, you know? 
I went in the bathroom, and the boy, when he walk, he, he like Terry Crews, he can make all this bounce around, and, you know what I mean? And he said, you see all this? He said, see, that was crazy. That was crazy. all these muscles. <laughs> he said, see all these muscles? He said, man, he said, I can't fight. I got a lot of muscles, but I can't fight. But don't let me jump off on your big ass and find out you can't fight either. Hey, yo. You know, and that was the coldest shit somebody ever told me. So when I went back, I was like, <laughs> whoa, that's cold, right? <laughs> Now, we got to talk about the interview with Jason Williams. I think everyone wants to know both of y'all's thoughts. So let's take a recap. I think the guy was capping so much. That's why we needed a recap. There was so much cap going on. I don't even know where to start. So you saying he lied this whole interview that we just did. The whole interview is a lie. Put the poll up right hey, now. Yo, pause. Man, yeah, yo, pause. Yo, God I'm damn, saying, I'm God. trying to... I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. You're right. I'm being unprofessional. My bad. We said we. My bad. Yeah, let's be professional. Yeah, my bad. Us. My bad. We didn't know that uh, Kendrick Lamar and Looney's your cousin. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What's it like growing up with them guys? Shit, growing up with Kendrick, uh, he used to play on my team with a little traveling ball. He was just shorter than us, you know. <laughs> He wasn't. Was Kendrick he good? was trash. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you said you bust Kendrick Lamar. Hey, hey yo, that was crazy. Hey yo, that was crazy. <laughs> that but was we gonna crazy. let it yeah, We even. We yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. My bad. My bad. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I'm bugging. Can you? Nah. I got <laughs> Who is the easiest star to score on? The easiest star to score on. Yeah. Um, who put it like this? Pause this question. Who you had your way with? Pause when you yeah. played. <laughs> the hardest boy. one was probably Jimmy and uh, Kawhi. I ain't gonna lie, the hardest. Easiest probably, I would say. Mario Chalmers. <laughs> oh, that's easy. That's, 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 that's why. That's, 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 that nigga play, play on huh? high. They needed Nate. They needed Nate, I mean, um, Isaiah Thomas right here at the top of that key. Right. And where's Isaiah Thomas at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did Isaiah Thomas wow. dirty, man. They did him fucked up. That kid came, Danny Ainge, you a foul nigga for that shit, Danny Your Ainge. man did that. Who that? Who did it? Bron did no, that. No, 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 no. First of all, Danny Ainge did that. <laughs> Danny Ainge <laughs> did that shit. Danny Ainge. They, Cleveland was, <laughs> they, Boston was in the playoffs. That man hit was fucked up, pause. That nigga... Sister died. He went home to his sister. I don't know if the funeral. He went back to Seattle, yeah. check on his sister. Came back to play in the playoffs with a fucked up hit because he's he was the leading scorer for Boston yeah. at the time. And then after that, they trade him for Kyrie. You know that, that go to show. Don't put your faith in them organizations because when yeah. they're done with you, they're done with you. Yeah. Ask Pat Riley and Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. Who was your toughest competition? I would ask you, playing ever. Person who gave you the mo the hardest time. Mm -hmm. Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley. More yeah. than Barkley. Barkley would fight you if you play him too hard in practice. Yeah. Wow. Charles Oakley, I mean, uh, Michael Jordan, would fight you if you weren't playing him hard enough. You mm. get it? So right. we'd be in the practice and we'd be looking for Charles. Where Charles at? And then Charles all of a sudden, he'd be on the side riding a bike. And he used to come in with this, these, uh, the, the hot cakes and sausage. Yeah. He'll put them in there. And he'll roll them up and put the syrup in the in butter practice? and squeeze it. And then just be on the bike while one mile an hour, eating it. Once y'all run the floor, <laughs> you lazy sons of bitches. That's, That's why we can't never win. <laughs> we ain't gonna never win, kid. Well, moving to football, Odell Beckham Jr. signed a one-year $18 million deal with the Ravens. But what does that mean for Lamar Jackson? And do you think he'll stay? Odell went to the Ravens? Mm -hmm. Officially. That's typical. I'm gonna make this nigga stay. That's a fact. I'm gonna, I'm a, fact. I'm gonna do something to make this nigga put all the weight on him. Pause. That was crazy. But nah, put all the weight on him. That's a fact. That's exactly what that is. That's that's pause this right now. But that's dangling food in front of the lion's cage. I said. And on that note, <laughs> we'll be right back. What my dog said. I can even spread love or shed blood. 
Okay, I know it's gonna sound like I'm making this up, but I'm not, okay? Charles Barkley just told on himself. In an interview, he shared that he has to carry his own bar of soap. He specifically what? said he almost had a couple accident with soap in hotels. So of course, he was asked in what way. He said, the soap bars at hotels aren't big enough, and when he was washing a certain part of his body with the soap, he almost lost it. I don't think this shit's funny, Mario. I don't even think this Yo, shit. No, just, what is this? Charles Barkley to Charles Barkley from TNT? Charles, Charles Barkley, Barkley, what the fuck you mean you sticking hotel soap in your ass? <laughs> Pause. Yo. yo, yo, my nigga, listen, listen. First of all, <laughs> bar soap is crazy at this point in your life. It's mad liquid soap. Now, if you ain't got nothing else, I yo. dig it. But the point being is, I don't care what size bar I can't soap. Breathe, I don't care. I don't care what bar size bar soap. Well, who's gonna use that soap after he uses it? That was my question. If you live in a house with a with fifteen people, right, or even four people, you wash your ass with a bar soap and then you put it back for your sister, your cousin, your mother to put you that. Cause you ever see no. the commercials when you young? Paul, I got my brush. You ever see? You ain't like it's like so commercial. Like. Mm -hmm. Ah, they got the nice music and they in the shower doing all this crazy yeah. shit. No, we yeah. black people never did that. We always yeah. had a washcloth. Charles Barkley, get some liquid soap. Hey, yeah. stop sticking. I don't care what size the bar soap is. Don't stick a bar soap in your ass and then put it back. That's some fucked up shit. Not only that, that nigga's 6'5", yeah. 392 yeah. pounds. What the fuck are you Yo, talking about? Yo, Barkley with his soap plug is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yo, yo. That's, Barkley I'm, with his I'm soap plug. I'm going to keep it 100, bro. He had a good crazy. time. No, more. he enjoyed his soap because he, he was too happy telling that story. What if this really soap didn't come out? <laughs> 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 yo. That's even worse. That's crazy. That's Yo, Boggy, you, you ruined all our childhood memories, yeah, man. Fat, nasty, of you dunking on people, <laughs> yeah. punching people in the face to fight at Boston. Yeah, and now you, you just, just ruined all my childhood memories you, with that. You fat, funky, <laughs> ball soap ass in your ass, ass nigga. Fuck is you tell? Yeah. Fuck out of yeah. here, Charles, man. Yo, the soap plug. The Charles Barkley is soap plug. <laughs> Charles Barkley, aka soap plug. Wow. Fuck Kenny. Kenny. Yo, Kenny, you might want to switch seats for Ernie. <laughs> Yo, Kenny, switch seats for Ernie, man. Leave that nigga on an island by himself, my nigga. That soap, that seat got bubbles on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this thing got bubbles on it. got bubbles I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You can't. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Yo, this thing got bubbles on it. <laughs> That's the end of the show. I can't go back. Yeah, you're good, I bro. can't wow. go back. Well, oh. as you know, over here, y'all, we sticking to liquid soap. That's all we have for today's show. See y'all for the next oh. episode. Yeah. <laughs> nigga said the soap plot. <coughs> a wild nigga, man. <laughs>